Good morning, folks. We've got updates on solar activity and what we're watching for tonight and tomorrow. Very much a star-focused show today as we begin with the last 24 hours on the sun at spaceweathernews.com. These SDO glitches didn't last long. There was a CME produced by stealth filament eruption, bottom right. It is heading out ahead of Earth's orbit and will miss us. So, let's come back to the triple eruption from the day before. These ones did produce a CME that is heading our way and we've still got different forecasts of its impact from NASA and NOAA. NASA's Enlil Spiral shows impact tomorrow with effects bleeding into Sunday. But NOAA's Enlil Spiral shows the coronal hole stream hitting first tonight with minor impact signatures from the CME for an entire day that also bleed into Sunday. With the solar wind nice and quiet, we'll be able to spot either the CME or coronal hole stream easily Let's see whose models do better over the next two days with keeping in mind that none of this is going to be scary. Fantastically obtuse bit of science here, magnetic winding for solar eruptions with the help of plasma current flows. They discuss the importance of those currents the entire paper and never once use the word electric, not once. That is darn impressive. We've also got the identification of multiple repeating shell ejections, including a recent one. These are phenomenally smaller than the sun's expected micronova. These are smaller than the sun's biggest solar flares. Folks, the legend Dr. Eugene Parker has recently passed away. He revolutionized space weather science with the Parker spiral and provided the final cherry on top of modern catastrophism with the Parker instability, which holds for the galactic current sheet as well using stellar nova events to sustain that Parker instability against the collapse. Because of him, we know the scalability of the lab, solar system, and galaxy, and what they mean for the objects within them interacting with the key magnetic zones. In case you forgot, at the sun, that's a 12,000-year cycle of a solar micronova. Last but not least, folks, this is disheartening. Not even the new high-resolution, high-cadence, one-minute geoelectric field models can capture the rapid current surges in the United States. It is unquestionable. The geoelectric models in the U.S. are the best on Earth, and this means that if the U.S. is unprepared, the entire world is unprepared. We greatly appreciate your support. Subscribe, and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.